the Boise State Broncos. 10-3 and in 2018, went 7-1 and in the conference, uh, lost the Mountain West Conference title game to Fresno at home in the snow. It was fantastic. It was glorious. Six Great. returning starters on offense, eight on defense, number seven most experienced in the Mountain West, number 81 in the country. Head coach Brian Harson, 52 and 15 in five years at Boise. Uh, he went seven and five in his only year at Arkansas State before that. If you've watched this show before, then you know how I feel about Brian Harson. If you haven't, I do not like this guy. I I can't, I don't understand what he's doing half the time. His coaching decisions make very little sense to me. Boise has got more talent than the majority of people in that league based on what Chris Peterson did. Like they they are the name brand. But he's been league. gone for a while, man. He's been gone for five years. I mean, this is this is a hundred percent Harson's team. Yes, yes, I'm with you. But it, the name brand was built by Peterson. Now, yes, I should I should give him more credit than I give him. But I will tell you this: there are Boise State fans that I know personally that are begging for a Power Five school to come and take him. Like they they want somebody different because he always loses that game, right? It's he's now. You should be happy with what you got, right? When you win in nine, ten games a year, you should be pretty happy with that, right? I just find this ridiculous. That's I, I, I really do. I can't stand. I understand, like, Gary. Like, I get it. Like, I, I know, know you're what an it Al- is. I know you're an Alabama fan. I get it. I I understand that you think that it's God's gift to the world for you just to win eight, ten games every year, and if you don't win ten games, it's a complete and utter failure. That's just not realistic. You don't think no, that Boise fans nobody think the else, same thing? Nobody, that, then they're just wrong. They're That's, just I, wrong. Look, all I'm saying is I think that Boise could be better. Now, could they be worse? Absolutely they could be worse. But when I watch this guy coach... They are winning... Ten games a year. Yes, and that's they went not ten enough. and three last year. But I, and that's I, not. I'll enough. go on a I don't, sport, I don't know I've, what else to do. I've got them winning ten games again this year. I do too. But I'm ten and two. I just I and I don't, I don't know, know how you're upset with that. I don't know what it is about him that I I feel like he should be better than he is. Les Miles was fired for winning nine games. That's that's a fact. Yeah, that happened. I think that's wrong. I think that's objectively wrong. Okay, I agree. I just, with you. I just don't understand why we. Think I don't think Boise will ever everyone's fire everyone's God's gift to, to. It's just, it's just your, it's your birthright to win ten games a year, and if you don't, there's the door. Like, I'd say, I, I, don't I don't know how get, you're getting mad about this. Like, at, all I'm saying is that I feel like he should be better. Like, and people, the games, and people thought less should have been better. And maybe maybe these guys should be better, but at the end of the day, they're you're still coaching damn good. 18, 19 year old kids, and and you only can control so many things. So if you have a mistake, if you have a snafu in, in coaching decisions or whatever, it it it's just part of it. Yeah, but like you don't fire a guy and you don't complain about well, that's, the that's guy. That's what I'm Forget saying. Forget about just firing him. You shouldn't be complaining either. I'm not a Boise fan. I can complain about this dude all I want to. I can say whatever I want about well, yeah, Brian Hart. Well, yeah, say whatever you want. I just, I just, look, I'll tell I just you. think it doesn't make sense to me. They are not going to fire him. That's well, why no. they're saying that they want a Power 5 Somebody team else to, to come hire. And I'm thinking, man, the guy's winning 10 games a there's, year. There's a reason. Like clockwork. Yeah, but there's a reason why nobody has come to grab him yet. And you know it. Would he be this successful elsewhere? I don't think so. I think a lot of it has to do with the school. And it was... It was the Frank Solich thing at the at Nebraska, right? Hey, he's winning nine games a year. Like we should probably keep him around. But then they said, we like our ceiling should be higher, right? And now I'm not saying that was the right decision, but I'm never going to fault anybody for wanting to be better. And look where that ceiling took him. Oh no, I, that's what I'm saying. But you, I, I, I will never always greener. I will never fault anybody for making a change to try and be better. I mean, I get that to an extent. Like, I'm the guy that always says, as soon as you know you have a losing hand, fold it. But I don't know that this is a losing hand. It, it may not be. I mean, that's the difference. Like, maybe maybe this year is the year where everything just clicks. But what if it does? What if he goes 10 and 2? What if he loses two of these games? Who well, cares? Then it, it'll be fine. Everything it's a will great be good. Se- it's a, 
unbelievable he can, season. Because he can win another. Uh, well, let's let's get back to the the breakdown. Uh, quarterback Brett Rippin, four year starter, uh, all everything. He is gone. Uh, right. He started for I mean all four years. Like it, that's, right. that, that's he has been Brian Harson's guy. That's right. Now that's going to so, be massive to replace. They have five. Well, in the spring they had five scholarship quarterbacks with a combined total of ten pass attempts. <laughs> that all suited up in the spring, and we're trying to to figure it out. And we still don't know who's, who's going to be the guy. It's, it's going to be yeah. interesting now, to see who takes that job. I will say this. The entire offensive line and the majority of the defense are returning. There's not a lot of experience depth. Um, I don't know. They were plus 11 in turnover margin last year. Look, they recovered 74% of all of their fumbles. Like, And not their fumbles, just fumbles, fumbles period, period. Uh, which is insane. That, that means a regression to the means – uh, may be coming, uh, but man, they got an insanely friendly schedule. Holy crap, do they have an easy schedule? Uh, let's run through it. Look, I've, I've got them losing to Florida State. I think Taggart and them are going to be a little better this year. I do too. I um, do. So losing to Florida State in Jacksonville, but then a win over Marshall at home, a win over Portland State, win over Air Force, a bye, a win at UNLV against Hawaii at home at BYU, uh, another bye, and then. A win at San Jose State, Wyoming, and New Mexico before I've got them losing to Utah State and then a win at Colorado State. It's just a really easy schedule. And out, I mean, outside of the Florida State game, I mean, there's no reason they realistically couldn't just run that table. I mean, they, we don't know exactly what Utah State's going to be. Correct. Like, well, Jordan and, Love is coming back, but and we still, and we'll talk about we that, still don't know the quarterback situation for Boise. So we're right. kind of hedging here. Yeah. I mean, it's. At, Without a quarterback, I think they win nine games with this schedule and the rest of the players coming back. With a really good quarterback, if one emerges... I mean, they, they could go 11-1. and one. They could go 11-1. and one. I, I, so, so, I mean... I mean, they, they could. Like, if Florida State still hadn't figured out their problems, they could go 12-0. and 0. What happens to Willie Taggart if that happens? Oh, if they get their brains beat in by week Boise one, week one? They just lose. They don't get brains beat They just lose the game. Uh, Phil, if they, if they just it. lose and it's like a... Close game Phil and whatever. Um, let's let's say like, it's if, like how a, about this? Let's if say they, it's thirteen to three, there, or thirteen well, no, to ten. There's like a, a there's a difference though. Florida like if, State can't score. Their offense looks bad. If if the offense looks terrible, then it is hot seat time in Tallahassee, <laughs> which is insane to think about after a year and one well, game. Last year they were so bad though. Yeah, but they were they looked like they didn't have a clue what I they know. were doing. Which is a far cry from Boise. Boise looks like they have a clue, That's right. but they just know the dudes Florida State's going to bring some, out there. Some of the stuff that, that Brian Harson, the guys uh, coming just, off the bus at at Boise, are substantially different in size and speed and strength than the boys coming off of the bus for Florida State. Yeah, those fellas are way bigger, stronger, yeah. and faster. You're right about that. All right, let's All right. jump off Boise. You, you got them ten and two as well. I got them ten and two as well. We'll move on. All right. Uh, 